am Leah from the House of Reptiles in the Venomous Reptile Museum, and today our animal spotlight is on the Madagascar giant day gecko behind me. Uh, as the name implies, the Madagascar giant day gecko is from Madagascar, just like some of our chameleon species. They're found on the eastern end of the island, and they're an animal that needs a little bit more humidity as a result. They're found in the rainforest. They are called Felsuma madagascariensis grandis is their full name. The genus Felsuma is day geckos. They're one of the largest species of day geckos. They reach a maximum length of about nine and a half inches. And the males and females are pretty hard to tell apart, but one of the ways you can tell is the females will typically have calcium sacs on the side of their neck, which either present as kind of whitish bulges or just bulges under the skin. And then the males will have pores in their kind of groin region. And that's how you identify a male from a female. Mostly they're a uniform green with a little bit of patches of red around near the eyes and on the back. Some of them have much more red than others and some of them have less. Depends on what you find desirable in an animal. They are definitely a diurnal animal, meaning a day animal, hence the name day gecko. So they're gonna need UVB and a basking light of about 80 to 85 degrees. In an enclosure like this, which is an arboreally or vertically focused enclosure, they're going to get as close to that basking light and UVB as possible. So you're going to want to provide them with a sort of ramp up to that light, the way we have in this cage here. One of the neat things about them is that though they are not necessarily an animal that you'd want to handle because they are lightning fast and their skin can tear like paper, <laughs> they are an animal that you can do a limited amount of interaction with. They will sort of slowly become to recognize you as a source of food, especially if you hand feed them, as I'm about to do. The nice thing about these guys is they can eat a variety of things, variety of insects, I should say, from roaches to worms to crickets. And they will also take, whoop, when they're in the mood, a commercial diet, such as the one I'm offering him right now. And if he's in the mood, he might be, you might have a little taste off your finger, which is pretty fun and one of the reasons why I like them so much. They're a pretty neat little gecko, or big gecko I should say, and you're going to want to set them up in a large cage with at least two daily sprayings or for humidity and potentially a misting system. They are the gecko you might have seen in the car insurance commercials, so that's one of the things you might want to tout to your friends. But other than that, they're just a really beautiful animal that we find really gorgeous and lovely, and that's why we chose them for our animal spotlight. Thanks for coming on by to the House of Reptiles, and we'll see you later.